So we're going to be using the apps Vonto and Megaphone and iMovie and I'll leave the link to those in the description box down below. So head over to Fonto, press the camera button and then go to plain images. Either select the black or the white and then go to colour and then change it to green. Then just press the upload button, use and then save. Then go to the add text feature we can just tap on the screen to enable the effect and then add your chosen piece of text. It can be anything you want, and then you can either change the font and the style of your text. Then once you're happy with it and make sure it's fitted in the frame, go and save that image to your camera roll. Then go into iMovie, and then upload this photo that we just saved from Fonto. And then it should look like this. Click on the photo, and then make sure the Ken's burn effect is disabled. Then Pinch out with two fingers until you have the whole image in displayed on the screen. Once you're happy with that, save that um, video to your camera roll and make sure it's in a pretty good quality because if it's in the lowest, you will have it buzzing when you finalize your video. After you've done that, go into Mega Photo until you and scroll until you find the 300 effect. This is the wave effect that we're trying to go for. Then press the arrow that's up. And then it's going to go down in a minute if you when you click on it and then we're going to enable the video feature so we can add upload our feature uh, video then we're going to make sure it's on the video mode so then we're going to take a photo of our video we want to have a video of it of it waving then press the record button and then try not to speak but it's okay if you do because we can change that into iMovie then make sure it's either three to five seconds long. After you've done that, it go to iMovie and then go to Movie and then upload the view that we just saved from Mega Photo. Then before you actually do that, make sure you have a background for your video. So then there's an overlay on top of your photo. So I've chosen to do this um, dark blue one and I'm going to disable the, the Ken's bird so it doesn't go across my screen. Once I have that, I'm going to add the video that we just saved from Mega Photo in. So then it should look something like this. And make sure you choose the green screen effect. So now it should look something like this. And of course we don't want the watermark. So we're going to go on the clip and press the button that has the four corners on the side and then drag the bottom right up. So then the watermark is is, has faded away and disappeared. So it should look like this, and then we have our wavy intro. So make sure that your green screen, the green layer on top of your background, is the same um, duration as your bottom layer, so then it's in time and doesn't look weird. So that's pretty much how you do it. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching.